good morning students in this video i am going to explain about the one more constants of the normal distribution that is the mode okay already we know the what is the meaning of mode mode is the maximum value of x at which the function is maximum okay right mode mode of normal distribution okay so we are going to find the what is the mode for the normal distribution i am writing what is a mode mode is the value of x mode is the value of x at which at which the function the prob probability density function is maximum okay right so now we have the density function the density function of normal distribution now the density function is given like this f of x is such that mu comma sigma is equals to 1 by sigma into root 2 pi into e power minus 1 by 2 into x minus mu divided by sigma whole square where it is defined in this interval okay so now by the definition of the mode i can find the maximum value of this function the process of finding the maximum value for this function is first of all you have to find the derivative of this function and equate to 0 you will get some point of x at that x point we will check the whether the function will act as a maximum value or minimum value okay right i am finding the f dash derivative of this function 1 by sigma into root 2 pi now here the derivative of e power minus 1 by 2 into x minus mu divided by sigma whole square is there so that derivative you will get like this e power i am directly writing Minus one by two times of x minus mu divided by sigma whole square into minus one by two into two times of x minus mu divided by sigma. Okay, so these two, these two cancel. You will get minus x minus mu divided by sigma is the derivative of this function this is you have to equate to zero equate to zero what is happened this is a constant it will not be zero okay and uh, this will be zero if this is infinity that means if it is infinity means there is a no meaning okay so e power something will be zero only if this is infinity x minus mu divided by sigma is infinity it is not possible so what happened then this must be zero okay this implies x minus mu divided by sigma is equals to 0 that implies x is equals to mu now you got the point one point of x value that is x is equals to mu so at this x is equals to mu what is happened the function that i am going to find whether it will act as a max it is extremum you will get the it may be maximum it may be minimum we don't know okay to investigate that one we have the technique of double derivative that is i am finding the double derivative of that function so what is happen the double derivative here this is everything is cancel x minus mu divided by sigma is there first i will do this integrate uh, derivative of this one here 1 by sigma into root 2 pi is constant i am finding the derivative of this one first uv rule derivative of uv rule first i am finding the derivative of this one just now we calculate the derivative same thing you will get 
e power minus 1 by 2 times of x minus mu divided by sigma whole square into minus 1 by 2 into 2 into x minus mu divided by sigma. Okay, this is the derivative of this function and this term is as it is you have to write that is minus of x minus mu divided by sigma. Okay, as it is term I written. Now, plus this term as it is you have to write now e power minus 1 by 2 times of x minus mu divided by sigma whole square. This is as it is right, written. Now I am going to derivative to this one. What is the derivative of that one you will get? Minus 1 by sigma you will get. Okay. Because x by sigma is there. The derivative of x is 1. So minus 1 by sigma you will get. Okay. So this is the value. F double dash. Now simplify this one. What you will get like this? F double dash is equals to 1 by sigma into root 2 pi into e to the power of minus 1 by 2 into x minus mu divided by sigma whole square if it taken as common and here minus 1 by sigma also also is there I am taking out then what are the terms is left over here that is uh, this minus is taken out you will get minus of x minus mu whole square divided by sigma you will get and here plus 1 okay now I am going to find at x is equals to mu what is happened this. At x is equals to mu what is happened in f double dash. If you substitute x is equals to mu in this one this will become 0. e power 0 is 1. So 1 by sigma into root 2 pi. This is minus 1 by sigma only. And what I will get here? This is 0 plus 1. So what is the term you are getting? Minus 1 by sigma square into root 2 pi. Right? Carefully observe this one. Here sigma square is there. So it is positive. Root 2 pi it is also a positive value. So compulsory this total function is positive and with a symbol negative means it is always less than 0. Okay. So f double dash is less than 0. So according to the rule in the maxima minima we know that uh, if f double dash of x is less than 0, the function is act as a maximum at the given point x is equals to mu. Okay. So now, this implies the function, the function f of x such that mu comma sigma is maximum at x is equals to mu. Therefore, Hence, x is equals to mu is mode of normal distribution. Okay, right. So, with this, mode is over. So, mode is mu. Remember, mode of the normal distribution is mu. Now, what is the mean? Mean is also we got e of x is equals to mu. Now with this we concluded that mode is equals to uh, mean. Okay, both are same.